Hello and welcome to the shave biopsy procedure video. In this video there are two different shave biopsy techniques demonstrated. The first is a diagnostic shave biopsy performed with a scalpel blade. The second is a diagnostic shave biopsy performed with a derma blade. For this procedure you will need a surgical marker, gloves, scalpel, forceps, a derma blade and a sharp spin. For demonstration purposes, we will be performing the procedure on pig skin. So let's begin. Prior to starting your procedure, you want to make sure that you have completed all of the following. A pre-surgical check, a detailed consent process, that you have established your sterile field and used appropriate local anaesthetic. For help with any of these, please refer to the accompanying videos on the pre-procedure aspects. Firstly, using a surgical marker, mark out the area of concern using a dotted circle. Next, using the same marker, use a solid line to mark the area for shave biopsy. Using a scalpel blade, make an incision around the solid marked line. In this instance, it is best to use the scalpel in a mildly slanted position to achieve the depth required. Just a quick note here, the idea is to just score the skin and make a very shallow cut. Next, still using the scalpel, but this time using it horizontal and more parallel to the skin, use shallow sweeping motions under the specimen required. This performs the shave biopsy. By using this horizontal technique, it allows the depth of the incision to be controlled and allows for a more superficial sample to be taken. In most cases, the shave biopsy should not go beyond the dermis and into the subcutaneous fat layer. To deliver the specimen, it can be helpful to use forceps to lift the specimen, allowing for visualization as well as to provide traction. Moving on now to the diagnostic shave biopsy using a derma blade. The area of concern is again marked out using a dotted circular line. This biopsy is performed with a derma blade, a flexible blade with plastic sides designed to provide control and direction. The depth of the shave biopsy specimen can be altered with more squeezing force on the side of the instrument, resulting in increased blade curvature. To use a derma blade, hold it between your thumb and index finger on your dominant hand. With your non-dominant hand, pull the skin on the sample site taut. Place the blade onto the desired location on the skin and with a side to side motion, shave the sample that you require. Make sure you use smooth, purposeful motion rather than jagged movements. Once the sample has come away from the skin, then you can use forceps to gently hold the specimen and place it in a field. Shave biopsy sites heal with secondary intention after hemostasis and application of a dressing. There are a range of methods of achieving hemostasis, the most common of which are diathermy or topical hemostatic agents this concludes the shave biopsy procedure. For more information on all of our educational resources and upcoming courses, please visit our website, stjohnsdermacademy.com. Finally, thank you to our partners who do not have any influence over any of our educational content or delivery. Please visit the Partners tab on our website for more details. Thank you and see you again soon.